Alright gang, what exactly is poppin'? Yes indeed, just wanted to drop in and say hi and maintain a consistent output so YouTube doesn't forget me! Oh, so what's up anyway, really glad you've enjoyed the uh, Ironhide review and the Fierce Whoop one. Not to uh, self-aggrandize too much, but I freaking nailed that one, yeah! And uh, I'm currently working on another review that I'd wanted to get out by the end of the month, but I don't know if I'm gonna. Like, the idea started off pretty streamlined, but it's kind of sprawled into a giant Akira-esque abomination of itself. So uh, I'm gonna try and lash it back down and get it finished off for you before too long. So yeah, just a few things, just wanted to say thank you to Becca for this uh, wonderful Build Fighters Wing Gundam for Nice. This looks really sweet actually, it's like an updated fancy version of the Wing Gundam with all asymmetry in that. Um, actually if you, I think you'll find it's uh, Finiche. I know, I'm just playing. So thank you for that Bex, you're too kind. Right, so let's check out what's come to the post box this week. Box 55, 1 Hanley Street, Nottingham, NG 15BL, I've memorised the postcode. So we have a, a regular box, a Megular box, and one jiffy bag of joy. So let's involve some sharpness and release the party within. Stabby, stabby, stab. It's not that bit in Goodfellas with the guy in the trunk. <laughs> Alrighty, first and foremost, Fury the 14th, box 55, British Empire. Oh dear. Our sincere apologies. Looks like they've chunked it. This doesn't bode the best, but we shall see. Oh, it's open. It's wide open. What the frick, man? Oh, check this out. Ooh, look at that. Giant Velcro faction symbols. Cool. It's like some shattered glass Bayverse Decepticon. I really hope that's like a dirt effect and these aren't just minging. <laughs> Oh, it's that guy. Was it a Generations Legend Starscream, this one? I'm sure I have the Skywarp of it, but then I have the Skywarp of most things. Oh, let's not get into the whole is it Starscream, is it Blitzwing thing. God, I'm already tired of that. Flipping that new Bumblebee trailer looks wicked. Movie speculation in general I find exhausting. Because it's like we can sit here and try and guess what's going to happen in the film and who's going to be in it. You can sit here all day long, but like, you're just gonna be disappointed when the thing in your head doesn't happen. So I don't know about you, but I'm just gonna watch the freaking movie. Anyway, we have Starscream, way! And we also have Reveal the Shield Legends Optimus, very nice! And this is from... Where's Leslie? Oh, this was the guy on uh, Playgrind who was all, Play Beast Wars next, mate, please, please play Beast Wars! And I tried, but um, I couldn't record it, the thing didn't work. The footage came out all warped and that. Hello, view. It's me, that dickhead. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, the plates were part of a store display, and they sadly ended up in disuse. Ooh. They have served proudly throughout the entire Combiner Wars era in a busy shopping mall. Oh, that's pretty cool. So these are like store used, and that is in fact genuine dirtiness. I've added a small bonus in the parcel. My favourite Gundam series. Okay. Piracy! Yay! After War Gundam X. Wow! That's rad, man! By the time you receive this parcel, I will have commenced higher education at the local city's most prestigious college. Well, good for you, man. Pray for me. It's been a struggle to get this far, taking a lot of therapy and patience, and also luck to get the government to allow me an exemption to return to school. Wow! What a legend! Oh my gosh, well, best of luck in your return to education, my friend. I wish you all the best luck in the world. Go get them, Wes Wes. I'm gonna call you Wes Wes from now on, how's that? Not gonna lie, I'm kind of in love with these. If it wasn't for the postal code, I'd have sent you some Geneva. Oh, it's booze. Well, it's a good job you didn't, mate, because they totally biffed this parcel. Ah, oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. Now, which of these would alternate universe Tarn wear? Would it be the shattered glass one or the good guy one? You decide. I'm just putting it out there. All right, let's do package number two. So this is from Stephen White, MDMO. But Missouri? Montana? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's officially a thing. Wow, actual calligraphy. Actually spelled correctly. I-O-U-I. -I. Nobody's got it right yet. That's my name. Please continue to wear it out. Dearest you, I hope you are in good health. Thank you for your long years of providing energetic entertainment. Please enjoy the parcel herein. I thought I said the parcel of heroin. Please enjoy the parcel herein and take comfort in your own hands-on evil genius. Hands-on evil genius. I used that in a Playground episode recently. I know it's from Austin Powers, but... Whoa! Bitches! Ugh! Oh, right, this is Planet X Megatron. Yes, this guy got in touch with me on uh, Patreon. And, uh, cool. Ugh. Ugh, that's horrendous. Look at that. God, that's so spiky. It kind of... I'm having trouble holding it comfortably. <laughs> Good God, what is the name? Planet X's things have the strangest names, like Skywarp is called Kareya. So I don't know what this is called. Is it like... 
Tyrantrone or something. Oh! <laughs> Let's see if we can figure this out real quick. Probably not. They're very complicated. Uh, do I want to pause the video and look it up? Not really. Yeah, I'm not going to do this now. <laughs> but this is the, um, I believe, the Planet X Megatron. The Fall of Cybertron. There he goes. The Fall of Cybertron guy with the most epic shoulders of all times and a weirdly sort of kissable face. Look at that. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> Beautiful. My God. That is... Uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this out later, but <laughs> already mightily invested in this. Very chunky boy, and also kind of weirdly spiky and sinister. I have decided recently that um, the Cybertron Games Megatron is the best one. I absolutely adore him. He's just so furious about everything all the time. <laughs> oh oh oh! Do we have we have progress? Sort of Ram Man Megatron. Sort of 70%. There he goes. You know, that's that's almost there. Spiky Purple Death Boy. Actually, there's nothing boy about Megatron, is there? He's spiky purple grown ass man. Oh, he's so pointy. I'm, I keep catching myself on him. Let's move on. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Steve-O. Mr. Lover Lover. Okay. Very extremely giant package. That's what she said. Uh, all right. We have instructions on this one open here. It's from the Netherlands. I think this might be the legendary trouble package from Peter. The package that exposed the problems of the P.O. box. Is it? All right. Oh no, it's from Barry. Yes, I remember this guy. This is Barry Bosman. Yeah, the legend. To the main man, Thew. Hi here, hi here, mate. Hi here, why not? First of all, I'd like to thank you for all the wonderful funny videos you made. It's been a while, but here I am again with a mystery box. Yes, this was the legend who sent me friggin', oh my God, those uh, throttle bots and uh, that Megatron, and what was the other one? The giant friggin' Leo Kaiser lad. I actually ended up selling most of that when I moved house for the charity auction. We made like 600 quid for shelter, get in. Thanks to you showing assembling these kits, I have ordered some Gundams as well. Hey, brilliant. Something else arrived at my home. I think this is something very cool for you to have and that you will enjoy assembling. Oh God, you know what I did in terms of building videos? I friggin' found down there, I don't know if you can see it, I found a friggin' Creo Devastator at the junk shop. Just at the local discount bullshit shop that sells like, you know, shampoo and hammers. And also friggin' Creo Devastators. It's the one with Ironhide in it. Might do it for Christmas. Week-long series of build videos. I foresee dwindling view counts. <laughs> but this is from Barry Bosman. I love him. And he's done something really nice for me again. Oh God. I've just seen the packaging art. And I know what it is. And I know how much it costs. Barry, I can't believe. Oh, why have you done this? <laughs> Freaking Lego Voltron. You're kidding me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, well, that's gonna happen, isn't it? <laughs> so what do we got? The five lions, and the, and they do the thing. They do the Voltron thing, as as any Voltron should, I imagine. <laughs> but like, oh god, this is wonderful. I feel like this is too much. Uh, shut up, Thew. Just say thanks, <laughs> Barry. You legend. I would have accepted some Stroop waffles at this point. <sighs> Flipping Lego Voltron. Oh, baby. That's gonna take a little while, isn't it? That's a lot of Lego. I've never seen a, a set this big since like uh, like the castles we used to get as kids. Very heavy. This weighs more than that Devastator does. Oh, you did not have to do this. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna scoop my guts up and put them back in my body because I have literally shat a brick. This changes everything. I'm gonna need to do this sooner rather than later. All right, well, how about this? I'll finish the thing I'm doing. It's my birthday next month, so I might build this for a treat. How about that? I'll bring you all with me. We'll get some whiskey on the go and we'll make friggin' Lego Voltron. How about that? I think that sounds lovely. All right, well, thank you very much for joining me. <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. I am L. Primo spoiled bastard on the internet. 
So I'm going to stop fawning and I'm going to get back to work for you and we'll do some videos. How does that sound? Don't know about you, but I'm rather up for it. All right, see you soon. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.